Happiness lives in your outlook on life, and sadness lives there too. The more I roam around this ugly yet beautiful world, I realize that it's easier to choose to focus on the sadness. I remember going through tough emotional issues and setbacks in the past, and even still now. The sadness seems to stick on me for quite some time. The person or place that has to do with my emotional issue will be long gone. But that sadness, it's there longer than any of it. There's been days where I've asked myself in my head, why are you sad? And some days, I don't even know why. A few years back, I would continue to look at the ground and block out anything that involved moving on. I'm getting better at looking up now, but that might come with age. It kind of scares me how as I get older, I don't seem to be as emotionally affected as I used to be. I've experienced walking away from countless situations without losing any sleep. And in that exact situation, 16 year old me would be up for days. In the big picture of things, I really think it's just a crack in the road of moving forward. I look at it as a positive. I think it's me being more comfortable with who I am and just me, not how everyone else around me is. That's not to say I don't care too much about what others around me think or feel, but that's for another time and place to talk about. I guess I'm just trying to say that with age comes a little more comfort in who you are, and that should shut off some of that sadness. Honestly, I always found some sort of comfort in sadness. I'm not really sure why. It could be from growing up listening to all my favorite bands pour their hearts out in their songs. Those songs played a huge part in making me who I am today. I guess it's kind of like when kids turn out like their parents. Some kids get bad or good traits from their parents. You have alcoholics and bad tempers from poor parenting, and then you have straight-A students and overachievers from good parenting. I'm not going to sit here and tell you that I had some terrible childhood or something, but I definitely didn't have a lot of guidance. I had to make a lot of decisions for myself. Music was always my constant. I took to heart what those songs said. Standing next to the alcoholics, the bad-tempered, the straight-A students, and the overachievers, I'm a walking mid-2000s emo song. Now, on the bright side, while all of the sadness fills our heads and we are trying to move past situations in life, happiness is right next to all of the sadness. Happiness is literally holding the hand of sadness and we don't even realize it. Eventually that happiness has to let go of that hand it keeps holding. The only person that can make that happen is you. I promise you that even when you think happiness isn't there, it is. Happiness is the thought of moving forward because you can. Happiness is the comfort of knowing that time heals and time never stops. Because in time, you will get better. You can do anything if you put your mind to it and work towards it. Being happy, although a simple thought, falls under that category. Getting over anything that brings sadness to your life does take a time of mourning. I'm not saying that this should all happen overnight or in a week or in a month or even a year. But don't keep looking at the ground when the sky is right above you. You're the one keeping that chin down. Don't keep shutting the door when someone that cares about you is trying to open it. Your sadness is literally the lock on the door and happiness is the key. Happiness lives in your outlook. Don't let it go. Don't let it die. It will save you.